Am I the asshole for telling my roommate that her pregnancy is not my problem? Ooh. And Sean is up first, I think. It doesn't it matter. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll start with Sean. I will say, you know, some roommates are not friends. They are just roommates. So True. while it would be nice to be considerate, and uh, help out your roommate in need. Uh, at the end of the day, they're not your responsibility, so I'll, I'll go ahead and not the asshole. Rocking with Sean here. It's At the end of the day, you are just roommates, and if you are the parent of that child, it, it is your responsibility, not anyone else's. So not the asshole. That's fair. Uh, we did do a story similar to this that one time. Remember, he was like the landlord. Oh, yes. Was, yeah. yes. Yeah, and he ended up not being the asshole. So you True. guys are... Uh, you guys are guessing from experience, I guess. I think <laughs> I just recently say. reposted that on Instagram this week. So yeah, oh, that did is you? pretty Whoa. fresh in my mind. Nice. All right. Well, let's hop into it and see if you boys are correct. So the girl that I live with, Kay, is pregnant and due earlier next year. Of course, she seems excited to have a baby, but at the same time, she has been making her pregnancy my problem. I get that pregnancy is going to affect her physically in many ways, but Kay has been a pain in the ass to deal with. I had to throw out all the bananas because she was complaining about how strong the smell was. She isn't helping with cooking, cleaning as much as she used to. And Kay cries about almost everything and it's annoying as hell. I mean, the, is the crying that bad? <laughs> uh, Maybe she just means like complaining, which also, you know, that happens when you're pregnant. True. You're experiencing something extremely life changing, I'm sure. Yeah. I would yeah. be for, for sure. Uh, her pregnancy is making her vomit which I expected, but sometimes the vomiting is so intense. And once she pretty much projectile vomited on the floor because she couldn't make it to the bathroom, Damn, for which I had to clean up her vomit. That's gross. Ooh, this just reminds me of that f- flight that's going trending right now. I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, there's supposed to be a flight from Atlanta to Spain and they had to deplane because someone just straight up diarrhea oh. throughout the, the flight. And it's gone so bad that they had to turn around, go back to Atlanta, rip the carpet out from the the uh, the plane, and it took them six hours to completely clean the whole thing out. Oh, my God. It was a <laughs> wild story. <laughs> Holy. Do you get a, what happens to the person that I should have it? I would die from embarrassment, to be honest. And, and it's, yeah. it's kind of hard to blame that person. We don't know. Maybe that person has ideas. Yeah, you know? so, we, I mean, or yeah. was very sick. Or was you very know? sick. is a thing. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I have, that's wild. It, it that's was crazy. Wild. Um. Anyway, so this is vomit, not diarrhea. Yeah, <laughs> Just, mouth, uh, mouth diarrhea. Mouth. Oh God. All right. Uh, over, over the past few months, she has been asking me to get things for her from the store, even on good days when she isn't feeling sick. When I asked her why she couldn't just get up and go to the store herself, she said that I'm not the pregnant one. So this is where I may be the asshole. Kay has been asking me to drive her to appointments which I did once, but then it became a constant thing of her asking me and I kept refusing. This is what happened the other day. She asked me to take her to the clinic. I said, no, I was busy that day. She kept pleading with me and finally I had enough and kind of snapped. I told her that she is the only one responsible for her pregnancy and to not make it my problem so that she needs to stop making it by asking me to constantly do favors for her. She started crying and left uh, and I left because I couldn't take it anymore. I know I may have been too harsh to a pregnant lady, but I don't feel like I need to be her personal servant as well. So am I the asshole? I say no. <laughs> I still Actually. say no. Yeah. I mean, it sucks. Uh, obviously, it sounds like this could be like a single parenting situation, uh, which is why she's, you know, needing a lot of help in other areas. But it's right. At the end of the day, she's just your roommate. Uh I don't even know how close you guys are as friends prior to this. You know, sometimes people just live together because it's convenient, you know, uh, sharing a rent. So I don't know how close y'all were prior to this. So y'all might not even be friends. And and even if y'all were friends, it is kind of asking a lot. Uh, This is kind of like the other parent should be involved or your parents should be involved or your siblings if you have. But again, you know, some Sometimes you straight up just don't have any of that. And, uh, but yeah, you might need to find, uh, your roommate needs to find a, an- another friend to help them with this endeavor. Uh, cause you know, it, it, it would be, you know, and you did help. It would be great if you could help all the time, but I mean, it's, 
whenever she got pregnant, did she talk to you and be like, hey, is it cool that I'm going to have a baby? You know, it's it's a you didn't ask for this responsibility and it shouldn't be expected of you. Right. In my opinion, I, I, I pretty much agree with what Sean said. The only thing that I'm kind of weirded out about is I think there are entitled people out there and we've seen, we're pretty evident that we've read a, a bunch of people who are completely entitled and think that hey, the world <laughs> revolves around me. The only thing I'm kind of weirded out, uh, weirded out about is a lot of these appointments are intimate uh, appointments. Maybe it's finding out the gender of the baby or, you know, I, I just think appointments with gynecologists are something right he could just be dropping her off or something like that you know that's a good point too that that's just probably my like suspect about it i'm like yeah uh but other than that it is it's it's a roommate situation if they're not close at all then i completely understand why op would be frustrated is it nice to kind of blow up on on somebody no but you i i think they were in the right to refuse that because i mean they're obviously they're they're not part of it they're not part of that pregnancy yeah yeah and everything yeah you guys said is like true that's the scenario like uh and for everyone in the live or the comments right now uh begging me to read the next part oh god (laughs) there is a so phoebe has like screenshots and the third screenshot i feel like this is an l brother (laughs) yeah this feels like an l is a commenter, Godless Goddess 1968, asks, Is it your child? To which OP, OP responds, Yes. God, okay. Oh, well, that yeah, fucking, fucking changes asshole. everything. Come on, man. That changes every fucking thing. Holy. All right. Okay. Uh, well, then, whenever I said this seems more like a person, the other side of the parenting situation, then yes. Uh, I, I'm still correct in that sense to where this guy should be. I, you know, I thought they were just roommates. I didn't even know. (laughs) Do you say male and female in the beginning? It didn't even say. uh, Yeah. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) I was thinking this is a woman to woman, uh, type of roommate situation. Uh, yeah, of course. If you're the fucking father of that baby, you have to do everything. (laughs) Yeah. Everything that she's at, everything that she's asking. Douchebag. Yeah. That's all I can say. Yeah. That's the fuck. Say, I'm really? And, and I can. You had me. You had me in the first half. Not gonna lie. Cause I was. Yeah. That's exactly down. what this was. You. You just a roommate. I get it. But the fact that you bore. Uh, you know. You provided the seed to make that offspring. Yeah. My guy. This is what I get for being. Uh, stopping uh, my optimism for this fucking show. I think you <sighs> were kind of optimist, weren't you? You're I like, don't know. It's, oh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I guess you're either way. You're being negative towards one side, I guess. But yeah, uh, yeah. Wild of you to call her your roommate. Um, and you're the father in the story, yeah. and leave out the most important no part that you are the other fucking parent. <laughs> of being asshole. the other parent or boyfriend or fiance or whatever, whatever it is. You made us lose our first guess. You. Fucking bitch. And that's why you're the real asshole. And that's why you're the real <laughs> asshole. No, I think I'm the asshole for leaving it out so long because uh in the live chat I usually do like a poll to see is this person the asshole? And everyone's probably locked in their vote already, and now they're just like Gasp. fuck, I want to change it. <laughs> Gasp. <laughs> they are a, so mad at you right now. They're so <laughs> mad. I'm uh, sure of it. Sh- shout out the YouTube chat. <laughs> I miss oh, it. Man. I miss. I think I was able to finally join for the first time in a month, and you weren't there, Josh. I was like, "Fuck, where's he at?" My bad. Yeah, we did some wedding venues last mm. week, so I missed a. I missed a couple of them. So, uh, anyway. yeah, same. I was touring some yeah. wedding venues. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've sure. only been to one, I think. <laughs> and one, uh, twice. Uh, hey, whoa! Twice. twice. He just. Didn't the first time chat. he didn't know Double how to get, how to get the amount of times you fucking said. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. That's my bad. That's my... <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. in fucking matter. Great power. For the fifth time, it's your boy, Sean. <laughs>